Hey guys, so in the last video we worked on our coolant pump and tank and in this video I'm going to do a do-it-yourself magnetic coolant nozzle. It's probably a lot easier just to go ahead and buy one. Uh, you can find them fairly inexpensive, uh, less than $20. But I had all the parts laying around so I thought I'd just go ahead and make one. Okay, so now that we got the pump hooked up, it's now it's time to turn towards the hose end. And since I got this scrap block, I guess I'm going to use it. You could use aluminum, whatever you have. Um, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to recess three of these little super magnets. Oof, you can see they're strong. But anyways, I'm going to put three of these. Probably only need two. I think I'll try two. I'll put one there and one over on the end. Super magnets, like so. And uh, do that on the bottom. And then on the top, I'm just going to bore a hole for this to screw into, like that. And then I'm going to use one of these quick disconnects. Uh, you can use a straight one. Uh, they have make 90 degrees you can use. I think for my particular situation, I'll probably just use a straight one. And then that way I can easily just connect it and disconnect it from my hose without a problem uh, that you could use one of these barbed fittings and just slide it into your hose or you can make your own fitting but I have some of these that I use for uh, my power draw bar so I'm just going to put that in there like that and like that so I'm just going to drill a couple holes and uh, get this made up okay so this is our finished block I just bored a hole through uh, the side. This is a 1 8 national pipe thread, and this is a quarter. And just going to go in like so. And then this will screw into here. And then it'll sit like so with a couple of magnets so what I want to do now is just let's put the magnets in there I'm going to use this epoxy to screw in the um, to glue excuse me to glue in the magnets so what we need to do is tear this open Squeeze these two out and mix them together. Didn't want to do that, but
All right. And then we'll just let this harden and we should be done. All right, so now. Okay, we can see we've got it connected to our drain. Our line ran up through our hole in the back, comes up back behind the lathe and attaches to our line lock. All right, so that's pretty simple and easy to make coolant nozzle. Uh, seems to be working pretty good. In the next video, uh, we're going to set up Mach 3 for flood coolant. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.